I'm Jennifer Easterling from Bryan, Texas, and I teach at Allen Academy. A couple of years ago, I switched schools, and it also entailed me switching what grade levels I taught and what classes I taught. And because of that, it sent me searching for new resources, different kinds of resources, something uh, different, different ways that I could incorporate art or art appreciation. And I came across Cindy's website after finding some other things that I'd already bought. And I, I ended up going back and getting rid of the other stuff and, and buying uh, resources from Cindy's from the, from the art curator because it was much more of what I needed. And um, it has fit so seamlessly into, into my classroom. The greatest benefit of being a part of the member resource library is uh, all just the sheer amount of resources that I have access to and it's not always the same thing. There are tons of different things. The way things are presented, it shows different ways of thinking. There will also be several different options on how to teach that or incorporate it into your classroom so it's not always the exact same thing. My teaching has changed uh, in ways, I feel like it, it's made it much easier and more seamless to incorporate art history into every lesson instead of having to search for all these different artworks and what they mean and ideas and things to go with them. I can go to one place and I can find it all there. And so it makes my job much easier and then the kids get more better content before I was a member, I would go to the internet and just start searching or I'd find different books and um, it would take forever. I was spending all that time looking for different things, but now I can go to the one place. My students have benefited because they're, they're able to better understand art and they can appreciate it much more. I, I love several of the, the questions and activities within the, the resources that get the students talking about art and looking at it in ways that I didn't think to, to bring about or um, to lead them in discussions that I didn't know or didn't know how to do. And so she's been a great resource on how to do that. The first one I found was how to talk to kids about art. And I, I've always been fascinated with art history. I've always loved it, but um, maybe I didn't have like a full understanding of it. And so this helps me understand it better, which then I can relate to the students. I loved that first lesson that I brought into the classroom and it had the kids talking about um, like Artemisia Genelewski's, her Jews slaying Herlophrenes, or her beheading Herlophrenes. And, um, we're talking about beheading in the classroom and it just fascinated the kids and I love the discussion that came around it. Being able to present different artworks that I wouldn't have thought about doing and having the kids be able to talk about it and appreciate it.